Water puts out fires. It's commonly known. Firefighters use it, spray it on the fire, puts it out. So there must be something magical about H2O that quenches a fire. I don't know about that. Let's find out what happens if we, can, if we get hot water hot enough. Now, at this point in time, my students know that boiling water, as long as it's boiling, should never get above the boiling temperature of water. So what I have here in a flask is some water that's pretty close to boiling right now. You can occasionally see some bubbles in it. So we know it's pretty close to 100 degrees Celsius. I don't even have to take its temperature. Uh, the boiling point of water at sea level is 100 degrees Celsius, so we can be pretty sure that that's close to the temperature of the water inside there. As we get it to boil harder and harder, what I'm doing is I'm capturing the vapor in this copper tube, sending it through a couple of roller coaster type curves, and it should come out the other end. Okay, so we're going to get that bubbling pretty well there. And I want to find out if I can see it coming out the other end. And my students, I usually bring up the point that if you see smoke and the smoke, and I use a lot of quotes, finger quotes here, if the smoke is white, it's probably water vapor in the air. Uh, the students like to call that steam, but I want, it's not water vapor actually. And I don't think we're quite there yet. What I tell them is if you can see white, it's not gaseous water, it's liquid water droplets suspended in the air, and we call that an aerosol. So as the water boils and the gases are pushed through the copper coil, we're going to get some, some steam coming out this end. And I'm not seeing it yet. What I'm doing here is I'm just holding a piece of paper towel up close to see if the towel is getting wet. It's not quite it. One uh, teaching tip is make sure that you start with water that's near boiling to begin with. If you start with tap water when you do this in your classroom, it's going to take you a long time. Teaching tip number two, it spits. <laughs> so, and don't have your water too high in the flask. If it's too high, then you are actually going to get, as the bubbles form, you're going to get the spit water coming through there. Uh, I think we can. We see that on, on the camera. We saw, I saw some white smoke a bit ago. See, there we go. That's boiling really funny. And if I hold this up there, it's getting wet. Can we see that? That that's wet. So that's not gaseous water. If water's a gas, it's not going to be wet. And the problem is, this water will never get 100, above 100 degrees Celsius. And then it's traveling through this copper coil. Copper's a good conductor of heat, but the heat's being conducted out of the copper, not into it, because the room air is going to take the heat away. So I'm never going to get the water that's coming out this end hot enough to be water vapor. It'll never be above 100 degrees. So if I could have my able assistant here assist me, I'm going to, let me get it lit first. Love the fingers on these things. There we go. I'm going to light this burner here. And we're going to get the water that's coming through that copper coil above 100 degrees. Now how do I know when it's above 100 degrees? If you can see it, it's not a gas. I can see the water vapor there. Is that, can you see that water? Can you see the white smoke? Okay, when that disappears, which it appears to have done already, then we've got gaseous water coming out there. And what we can do is hold our paper up there. Okay. You can see the paper towel is being blown, so there's definitely a gas coming out of there. We can't see the gas. And if you can see, the paper towel appears to be getting discolored. It's, it's burning. Wait a minute, water doesn't cause fires. What we're getting here is water that's getting close enough in temperature, but definitely past the temperature at which it's going to be a gas, and it's getting close to the flash point 
of our paper. Let's see if we get to the flash point of a match yet. There we go. Okay, we lit our match on fire. I'm going to try that again, see if we can keep it lit. Problem is it lights and then it blows out. There we go. So I've lit a match with water vapor. Now, I have some water here on the tray, a puddle of water on the tray. I never, never put a match down in anything that's going to burn. The other thing the kids like to see is I'll pick up this piece of paper and what we get is we do this with flash paper. How far away can we get that and still get it lit? Okay, this is just flash paper. Flash paper burns cleanly. It's nitrocellulose, burns cleanly with no ashes. You can turn that off now, thank you. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken water well past our 100 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna see what happens with this thermometer here as we catch the water vapor. This, this particular thermometer goes up to 260 Celsius. Um, I don't want to explode it, so I'm watching it. We're up to, uh, we're up to about 150 Celsius right now, and I can feel the heat coming through these gloves. Okay. It's not coming out steady. It's coming out in bursts. All right. So we're up to uh, pretty close to 200 Celsius right now. I'm going to take that away. Certainly don't want that to, to break. So what have we done here? We've, we've uh, there's a couple of misconceptions with students. Um, hopefully by now they know that boiling water is never going to give above, above its boiling point. I don't care how long you boil it. I don't care how high we turn that hot plate on. We're not going to get above 100 degrees Celsius. Unless we take the water in the vapor form and heat it. Liquid water can't be above 100. Vaporous water can. When we draw our heating curve, we end up always drawing the horizontal line for the vaporization of water and then drawing a line past that, but students never get to see water that goes past the vaporization point. We also talk about when we can see steam. That's not a gas. That's still liquid water aerosolized in the air. If we can see it, it's not a gas. So we wait until it's invisible, and then it's gaseous water. And gaseous water certainly can get up to the flash point of paper. It's fun if you have uh, flash paper or if you have gun cotton, it'll light that on fire. It'll certainly light a match on fire. And uh, it's just another phase of water that we don't get to experience very often. Um, as we cool down now, we can see it. We can see the steam again. So therefore, if we can see it, it's liquid water droplets in the air. Okay. All right, and that's where I talk about the gaseous phase of water. Thank you.